How we met Brooke and David. Brooke, we're one of those old school couples that met in real life. We met standing in line at the sandwich shop on the first floor of the building I used to work at. I worked downtown at my last marketing firm. The job was awful. Actually, the job wasn't so bad. It was really more my boss and the people that I work with that made the job hard. There were boundary issues and too much work, and it was a really stressful time in my life. The only thing I looked forward to during the work week was lunch, the opportunity to get away from my desk and the office to have a moment to myself. Usually, I brought my lunch to work, but on this random day, I forgot my lunch sitting on the counter at home. I'd never eaten at the deli before and didn't feel like driving anywhere else, so I got in line, and that's where I met Davy. David says, Brooke was so beautiful when I first met her. Of course, I'd seen her before walking through the lobby of the building, but I never had the opportunity to talk to her. I worked on the seventh floor, and I'd seen her come in and out, so I knew she worked in the building, but I didn't know on what floor or which company she worked for. Like she said, we met in line at a shop called Mario's. They didn't open until 10.30 in the morning and were only open until late afternoon. The sandwiches were really good, though. Brooke said she never brought her lunch, but I was a single guy back then, and I ate lunch there every single day. I remember it was a Friday morning because I was almost planning to go out to find somewhere else to eat, but I'm really glad I didn't. I was in line looking at the menu and turned around to see who was in line behind me, and there she was. Her hair was flowing down over her shoulders, and her nose was crunched up as she looked at the menu. We made eye contact, and she smiled a small smile at me. I remember turning around quickly because my heart was pounding, and I didn't know what to say, and I didn't want to be weird. She smelled good, and she just happened to be standing behind me. Brooke says, I was just trying to pick a sandwich when Dave turned to me and asked which one was my favorite. I'd never eaten there, and I told him so. I asked what his favorite was, which is what I ended up ordering. He told me he ate there every day and had tried all the sandwiches. At first, that sounded a little sad to me. I mean, who eats at the same deli shop every day? But then he started talking about how good the sandwiches were, and I knew I could trust what he was saying. If he went there every day, they had to be worth it. After we ordered, he turned around and asked me what floor I worked on. We just made small talk. He was nice and had a really nice smile. The first time we met, it was just so easy. He wasn't trying to hit on me. He was just being really nice. David, I was definitely trying to hit on her. Seriously, I didn't want to come on too strong. I knew I'd probably see her again. We just chatted for a few minutes until our food was ready, and then we parted our separate ways. Every time I saw her over the next couple of weeks, I would wave and say hi. I would ask her if she tried another sandwich or liked the one she originally had. One day, I asked for her name and finally got the courage to ask her if she wanted to try somewhere else for lunch. I was so nervous and ready for her to reject me, but she said yes. Over a year of eating at the same place, and I finally went to eat somewhere else, and she was the reason. We've been together ever since. Brooke, I knew he was going to ask me out that day, and I was kind of excited about it. I'd been seeing him more and more after that day in the sandwich shop, and he always came up to me to say a few words. He made my work days so much more bearable, and I started to look forward to seeing his face. He was like the lone flower in a field full of weeds. Oh, of course I was going to say yes.